James 1, 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. It is easy for us to sit in church and listen to the word and tell ourselves that's enough. But is it actually getting through to us? If we have any actual faith, God tells us it will move us into action. If we are not moved to action, we must reconsider the state of our faith. Even if we have great understanding of the word, if we don't have faith, we have nothing. See, this is the problem with the doctrine of faith only. If you have true faith, it will move you to works. The imperial Christian understands this and works for the empire. We are not called to just sit there and soak up the word like sponges. We are called to act, to move, to serve the empire, to serve the emperor, to do great works for him. And remember, don't, don't sit there and say, oh, well, when I'm rich, I'll do great works. I'll give to the poor. No, you can do great works now. Saying hi to that old woman and, you know, talking nice to her and being nice is a great work. Helping somebody is a great work. It's the little things. Telling someone that's struggling that you'll pray for them is a great work. These are all actions. They don't have to be grand gestures. It can be the small things, and often it's the small things that are the greatest things. Never forget that. Remember that if you have the true faith in Christ our Emperor, you will work, you will be moved to action. Now pray this with me. Lord, light my heart aflame with passion for you. May I always be longing to serve you. Cast away all my laziness and let it be behind me just as all sin is behind me in Christ. Make me a servant of your kingdom. Amen. You are a servant of the emperor. Don't forget it. You serve the empire. And may God, Jesus, be with you all.